Warning, the following video contains... Spoilers. Of course you probably worked that one out for yourself. Low resolution models and textures. That would not look out of place in Minecraft. What do you expect? This game's almost as old as I am. Zombie-like creatures. And commentary recorded in my voice. Also, the game featured in this video has an age rating of... Peggy 12. If you are under this age, or think you are likely to be adversely affected by any of the aforementioned content, I advise you to... Leave this video running with the sound muted, and watch one of my other videos instead. Now, let's get this game started. Okay then, and on to the final level of, uh, of unfinished business. That looks like a lot of boulders hanging from the ceiling. Must be careful of that. I imagine. Probably be easier to see what's down in that hole if I went and stood next to it. Ah, lava. Who the thought? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not at all scary and ominous. And there's two of them. Okay. See some switches over there. Uh oh. I was expecting those to come to life. Guess it didn't. Okay, so yeah. Lava on either side, so I can't really escape. Um <laughs> I suppose I should have known that was going to happen. Okay then. So what do I do instead of that? Or is it just just a case of Trying to avoid them. How on earth are you meant to avoid all those? <laughs> that one wasn't so bad. Yeah. What the... <laughs> For a second I thought I'd survive that. <laughs> well, that was weird. Nope, can't even dodge it like that. Right, well it seems that I am... Seems that I'm correct in thinking that these tiles that have got a pattern on them are safe to stand on. Although I, I think I miscalculated slightly with the angle based on the fact that I still got hit by that boulder. Right. Okay, so yes. 
So yes, these tiles with patterns on are safe to stand on, but you still have boulders dropping on you. So when you pass over the tiles that don't have that pattern on them. Uh-oh. Although the fact that I believe I've just set off the boulder that hit me last time might be able to make it this time without getting hurt. Yep. So... No. I'm going to have to spend some time working out where all these boulders go, aren't I? Well, that didn't work. Right, okay, so I've worked it out now. Stand on this white tile to set that boulder off. Uh, and then that makes it safe for you to jump across to these two tiles with patterns. Uh, and I was going to say that you stand... In fact, let's just make sure, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you then, you then stand on one of these two tiles in front of you and jump backwards to set that one off. Whoa! I meant to walk forwards there, but, you know. So it's it's now safe to jump from those two pattern tiles to here. And then you're at the switch. And um, just be careful not to stand on that black tile. Jumping over it's fine, but if you stand on it, you set off another boulder. So... And now we pull this. And perhaps switch to something with a bit more damage. Uh oh. The injustice of it all. Of course, the the uh, mutant things don't get hurt by boulders. <laughs> and sort out what weapon you're using. And pull the switch. That happens to be why I told you to be careful not to stand on that black tile because I wanted to be able to jump backwards and forwards between these two. And now for the other one. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. <sighs> she was supposed to jump sideways. Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Okay. And that takes care of the two mutants. Switch back to the guns with infinite ammo. And uh, I think I should. I mean, I'm pretty sure these boulders are still dangerous, so. Um, so let's be careful about this. Yep, I was right. 
they are still dangerous. And now those two mutants have been dealt with. And these two doors are open. Okay, I know that this is a switch from the previous level, but I'm curious what will happen when I pull it. Apparently nothing. Not that I'm complaining. Whoa! Okay, now I think that's the direction I'm meant to go in to progress in the level. So let's have a look in this direction. And there's one here as well. Okay. Oops. Oh well, I've just saved it. Yay, Magnum Clips. Wasn't a complete waste of time coming back here. Okay, and now to avoid these darts. Well, I managed to avoid them mostly. And there we go. Now the reason that I know this is the direction to go to progress in the level is because we're coming close to the one and only secret in this level. Now I just want to make sure I get my angle right. Okay, so yeah. I want to jump across to there. Not what I was planning on doing. Oh, works though. I was wrong. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, so this time I want to run and jump to get as far to the other side as possible. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, that worked. That didn't. Yeah, I need to remember to take my finger off the jump button. Um, we need to angle ourselves to go over to this direction. Whoops. takes care of him. Um, surely he wasn't the only one. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying that. I know for a fact he wasn't the only one because I've seen this part when I was looking at a guide for where to find the secrets. Here we go. Oh, 
Well, that one exploded a little close for comfort. But anyway, the first and only secret of this level is down here. So yeah, I uh, just want to make sure I don't run off the ledge. So yeah, we come down here and then jump over to that one. Obviously, where else are we going to go? Yeah, I know I can hear that too, but don't worry about that right now. He can't get to us down here. So, yes, and we want to... Yeah, so we want to we want to stand on that slope there and jump across to where the large med pack is. Um, just going to save it because I don't know that I'm going to be able to do this first time. Like I said. So I need to leave it a bit later, I think. I made the same mistake a second time. Okay, so yeah, leave it till you're very near the bottom. And like I say, that's the one and only secret of the level, so I have no idea what's happening after this. Uh oh. Other than the fact she was meant to slide down forwards and jump back to where we were. Okay, I'm hoping that angling myself slightly towards there will make her go down forwards. Yes. Okay. Good. And now we're climbing back out of this hole. Ah, there it is. So, can I shoot at it from here? Probably not. I mean, especially since it's staying down, mostly. I expect I'll get over there at some point. Yeah, that's not anything. Bit of wall that's in an unusual place. Hmm. Whoa. Wasn't sure if that would work. Uh oh. Yeah. Come on, how can you not see him from here? deals with him. Now, like I say, I've only ever checked guides to find out where the secrets are in these levels, and since that is the one and only secret in this level, I'm completely flying blind now. I 
see some oozy clips on that that platform in the middle of the lava. Mm-hmm. Right. Obviously there's a door there. Is that too far to jump? Oh, there's some more easy clips there as well. No, there must be... I mean, obviously there must be some way of getting to them. Besides which, I have no idea how to open that door. Because there's nothing here. So maybe onto that platform. Oh, well, you know, two doors and standing on these platforms opens them. Hopefully not on the timer. And of course I overshot it. Okay, so let's try it again. We jump to here, which opens that door. Um, I wonder, should I try jumping to that one instead? Maybe. Or in fact, no, I could, I could still make it. I just need to jump from further back, don't I? Yes, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's just that I was too close to the edge before, and that's an incubator. Uh, which... And of course they're on timers. Why wouldn't they be? Okay, just back up and yep, that opens that one. Now let's see how easy it'll be to get back. There and then to there. Step backwards. No. When I told you to step backwards, I didn't mean that far backwards. <laughs> okay. And just try to get over there quickly before the door closes. Oh. Bad timing. So yeah, it is possible, it just needs to be done really quickly. Thanks. Couldn't jump over there from here, could I? No, that's got to be far. That's got to be way too far. Yep. So close. Okay, that's actually put me very close to the edge already, so... Yes, that could work. Yep, we're in. Hopefully we want to be in. Oh, 
Uh, I'm assuming that we I'm assuming that we go down but I can't say for certain um, very difficult to tell there's nothing down here Nope, can't climb out that way, so back up here and jump across, maybe. Trying to get a look at this. No, I don't think I can stand on that. So, where to now? Yep, there we go. I was wondering when those were going to burst open. Uh, not too bad though. In fact, should take one of those. <sighs> oh, there's a switch over there. Oh, have I missed that? Okay, so yeah, before I couldn't see a reason to climb up here, but there is obviously a switch there now. Well, now we know about it. So. What? Okay, you tell me that that... Oh, so that did nothing then. Okay, maybe it opens those doors again, because I can't think why else it just opens. Which means I probably needn't come back for it now. Oh. Huh? Whatever. Get on with it. And that takes care of them. Okay then. So, where do we go from here? I think I see a 
a passage up there so that seems like a likely direction um, well here goes nothing Okay, that works. Right. And maybe jump backwards from here. Right, so that just gets me back to here. Guess up there, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And up again. And I can see a centaur, or the lower half of a centaur, up there. Okay. Nope, that didn't work. I expected that to go a lot worse than it did, actually. Okay, that was odd. Okay, so come back here and then ah, that's how it's done. Right, that was a mistake. Okay, so you want to have your back right up against this wall and then just jump without running. Of course, you need to angle yourself properly. Okay. So, yeah. You want to be right up against that wall, just jump forwards, and you'll slide forwards on there, and you need to angle yourself in mid-air and grab this ledge to get up here. And it took me so many attempts to get that right that I am definitely saving it before I have to do it again before I die and have to do it again. Come on, Centaur. I can see you there, so Yeah, considering how close we are, I think the shotgun might be appropriate. I was expecting that to kill me at least once. Okay then. So yeah, I think I see a ledge down there that I might be able to grab onto if I go backwards. Oh. Okay. I think I lost some health dropping down here, which I might not have lost if I dropped down the other side. Well, actually, that being said, 
I don't think there's any way of avoiding that. Ah, yeah, some more Uzi clips there. Anything else to pick up in here before I move on? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay then. I don't suppose it's been that long since I saved it, but it's never stopped me before. Yeah, I knew I'd seen something over here. Okay, the annoying thing about swimming in this game is that you always overshoot what you're going for. There we go. Yep. I was about to say I'm pretty sure that being underwater doesn't save you from being attacked by those things. And all you know, I was right. I'm going to have to go up to the surface for, walk for air soon. Okay, I need to find some way of getting out of the water. Oh, there's another small med pack here. Yeah, I mean, I want to look around to see if there is anything else, which there is. Uh, I definitely should take some a med pack. <sighs> Certainly, I put a lot of med packs in this area. Wonder why that is. And there's some Uzi clips. Come on, pick them up, please. Not got a lot of air here. I should probably get out of the water and deal with the mutants before searching for items, shouldn't I? Come on. Okay, I'm not entirely certain, but I think I've got everything from down here. Now I just need to find somewhere that I can get out of the water and shoot it stuff. So 
many of them. Yeah. There we go. And yes, I'm definitely taking another one of those. Magnum clips here. So there's three more mutants over there which haven't activated yet. Some Uzi clips up there. And another mutant just over there that has activated. Um I'm not sure that I can climb up to those oozy clips, you know. Looks like there's something up there, but maybe I'll come back down or something. I don't know. It'll work itself out eventually. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. I can see that one's moving slightly over there. Interestingly, I think the mutants react to being shot at in the same way I do, which is blind panic. It's the only, it's the only thing I can, only way I can explain how they stop shooting at me when I'm shooting at them. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, give it a pause up with that like button. Howl at me in the comments, and if you'd like to be a part of my pack, consider clicking the subscribe moon which is orbiting on screen somewhere now.